Imagine using a compass in a familiar place where it has always pointed north in the same direction. But one day you notice something strange. The needle has flipped. What once pointed north is now pointing south. This could be a sign of something many people don't realize, a reversal of Earth's magnetic poles. For the past 3000 years, Earth's magnetic field has been weakening, losing about 30% of its strength, and it's still declining. For a full polarity reversal to occur, the magnetic field would need to weaken by about 90%, reaching a critical threshold. But what would happen if Earth's magnetic field completely flipped? There would be several consequences. Let's take a closer look at how this could impact us. Earth's magnetic field plays a crucial role in making our planet habitable. Beyond simply guiding compass needles, it acts as a protective shield, deflecting solar wind that could otherwise erode the atmosphere. As Earth's first line of defense, this invisible shield extends far into space. Without it, our planet would resemble Mars, a barren world stripped of its atmosphere by relentless solar radiation. A magnetic field is created whenever an electrical charge is in motion. The spinning and orbiting of an atom's nucleus generate a magnetic field. The more charge in motion, the stronger the magnetic field becomes. So how is Earth's magnetic field generated? The answer lies deep beneath our feet. Let's take a look inside Earth. If we slice Earth like a piece of cake, you'll see its layers. Earth is divided into five main layers, the crust, upper mantle, lower mantle, outer core, and inner core. Earth's core deserves more of our attention. The outer core is a fluid layer about 2260 kilometers thick, composed mostly of iron and nickel, lying above the solid inner core. The inner core is a solid sphere of iron and nickel, with a radius of about 1,220 km, roughly 20% of Earth's total radius or 70% of the Moon's radius. Scientists have discovered that Earth's magnetic field is powered by the solidification of its liquid iron core. As the core cools and crystallizes, it stirs the surrounding liquid iron. Combined with Earth's rotation, this movement generates powerful electric currents, creating a magnetic field that extends far into space. This mechanism is called the geodynamo, and it is likely the action of this process that causes the flipping of Earth's magnetic poles. Simulations of planetary dynamos are often used to study how Earth's magnetic poles undergo a reversal. In a complete reversal of the magnetic poles, the north and south magnetic poles switch places. That means north becomes south and south becomes north. It's important to note that the magnetic north pole is not the same as the geographic north pole. So do you remember the flipping map at the beginning of this video? That's not what happens during a geomagnetic reversal. Under normal conditions, Earth's magnetic field serves as an excellent defense. The magnetosphere, where the magnetic field exerts its influence, shields Earth from harmful cosmic radiation and charged particles from the sun. However, it's not a perfect sphere. The solar wind compresses the magnetosphere on the sun-facing side and stretches it into a long tail on the night side, almost like a windsock in space. Earth's magnetic field also forms two giant donut-shaped zones, called the Van Allen belts. These belts trap harmful radiation from space, acting as Earth's cosmic shield, capturing high-energy particles before they can reach us. But there is a problem. This shield isn't as stable as you once thought. In fact, something unusual is happening right now, and it's happening much faster than anyone expected. The magnetic North Pole is changing constantly over time. For over a century, the magnetic North Pole has been slowly sweeping across the Arctic. Its position was first observed in 1831, northern Canada. Since then, it has been progressing further into the Arctic Ocean. At first, it was moving at about 15 km, but starting in the 1990s, it began to accelerate to a speed of around 50 to 60 km per year. Although Earth's magnetic poles are moving constantly, a geomagnetic reversal event is very unpredictable. To determine when magnetic reversals have occurred on Earth, scientists study rocks. But it's not as simple as picking up any rock and analyzing it. Volcanic rocks, when they cool and solidify, preserve traces of Earth's magnetic field as it was at that time. These magnetized records provide valuable clues about past reversals. 
Based on this, paleomagnetic records tell us Earth's magnetic poles have reversed 183 times in the last 83 million years, and at least several hundred times in the past 160 million years. The last full reversal happened about 780,000 years ago. Since then, the field has almost reversed 15 times, and evidence suggests we are heading in that direction again. So what can we expect? In reality, the bigger concern is the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, which happens during the flipping process. A weakened magnetic field could disrupt certain animals such as birds, fish, and sea turtles, which rely on Earth's magnetic field for navigation. This weakening could also cause damage to satellites and high-altitude planes, much like what is already happening in a specific region of our planet. There is a massive weak spot over the South Atlantic Ocean, stretching from South America to Africa. Scientists call it the South Atlantic Anomaly, and it's like a dent in Earth's magnetic armor where the field is significantly weaker than normal, and it's already causing real problems. Satellites that pass through this region experience frequent electronic glitches and failures, as if they are traveling through a cosmic danger zone where our shield can protect them properly. The weakening of Earth's magnetic field is a real problem. And what's even more concerning is that geomagnetic reversal events are actually more common than previously thought. Many people fear the idea of Earth's magnetic field suddenly disappearing. But fortunately, that's not how a pole reversal works. During a flip, the field weakens, but it doesn't vanish completely. The magnetosphere, along with Earth's atmosphere, continues to shield the planet from cosmic rays and charged solar particles. However, some particulate radiation may reach Earth's surface. During this process, the magnetic field becomes chaotic, sometimes forming multiple magnetic poles in unusual locations, before eventually stabilizing in a new orientation. This process isn't instant, it can take hundreds to thousands of years to complete. While some worry about a sudden catastrophe, history tells a different story. Life on Earth has survived every single magnetic reversal. There is no evidence that past pole reversals caused mass extinctions, but a weaker magnetic field raises concerns about increased exposure to cosmic radiation. However, Earth's atmosphere, not just the magnetic field, is our primary defense. Think of it as a thick concrete wall blocking most harmful cosmic rays. Even if the magnetic field weakens significantly, the atmosphere will still protect us from most of the radiation exposure. As you have seen, while a reversal wouldn't be catastrophic, a weakening magnetic field does have real-world consequences, especially for technology. At its current rate of decay, it could take several centuries, or even a millennium, before Earth's magnetic field reaches a critical point. That gives us time to prepare. Scientists are already working on solutions. Space agencies are developing better radiation shielding for satellites and spacecraft. Power grid operators are installing protection against geomagnetic storms. Satellite missions like the European Space Agency SWARM are monitoring our magnetic field in real time, giving us information into how it's changing. We are living in a unique moment in history, where we can observe and study this process as it happens. So while Earth's magnetic field is changing, there is no reason to panic. This is a slow, natural cycle, one our planet has been through many times before. Humans, animals, and all forms of life have evolved to live on this planet. And for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.